sushi dome, not like the bro nut. What's going on everyone? Dave K here for another fun-filled adventure with Michelle. Michelle, are you excited for today? Uh, well, I already had a bit. Yes. Uh, today. You so did. Going back into it, but yes. All right. I'm excited for the second half. We get to do it, the three of us. All right. I'm joining, yes, for part two. Michelle's already had the chance to do some Epcot, and they checked in first thing in the morning to Rise of the Resistance at Hollywood Studios, Mike and Michelle. And so, hopefully, they'll get the chance to ride Rise very, very soon. It seems like their boarding time is coming up, so that'll probably be our first stop here in the afternoon or the early evening. Are you excited for Rise, Michelle? I am excited for it. Yes. I Michael says it's the best ride he's been on. Yes. Uh, so, we'll have to see if it lives up to exact expectations. Right. Well, what do you think? Do you think it will? Um... Knowing how much money that Disney puts into Star Wars, mm -hmm. yeah, I think it's going to be pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll see what you think. But I, I like the Harry Potter rides better just because Harry Potter. Uh, that makes sense. I can appreciate that you like the Harry Potter story, but just wait till you ride this ride. I'm telling you. It, it's, it's a good one. It's a really, really well done. We were discussing the plans for the day, and we were talking about how Michelle and Mike already did some Hollywood Studios and some Epcot, and we're probably going to do a little bit more of that here today. But I'm interested to hear as well Michelle's thoughts on the gondola. She had the chance to ride that already. Michelle, what did you think of the gondola? First of all, I thought it was pretty scary. Um, after a while, it kind of faded. The scare factor faded. Um, if you're in the enclosed gondola, the enclosed space with a lot of college um, students, then you, it might get loud in there. Um, that was one negative experience. And we had a little bit of a negative experience. We we tried to get out and the doors wouldn't open. And it turns out we were in one of the handicapped vehicle, the handicapped gondolas. And um, we, we had no idea that, that we had to wait until we got to the, the handicap station. So we were a little scared there. Um, but otherwise, I think they're pretty cool. I mean, yeah, it's kind of scary if you look at the top to see that one little bar. But uh, otherwise, yeah, pretty cool. Cool, glad you liked it. Yeah, I feel like I can maybe see where you're coming from. I didn't find them scary at all in the beginning, but glad you wound up enjoying them at the end. I guess it depends on your comfort levels with that kind of thing too. I know a lot of people kind of get uncomfortable in up flying like airborne vehicles. And I can see how with the one bar, it does look like it's less secure, but I haven't had any issues with it. And I know the issues have been limited. So overall, I, I still find it a pretty good option. Definitely looking forward to riding them again a little bit later today as well. All right, I'll see them at the end. They're making their way in now to the ride and we're gonna see how they react once they come out. Bye, enjoy, see you later. All right, they're off, stepping into the ride. Boarding now. It's nice that they've managed to get through so many boarding groups today. I feel like uh, we're definitely moving along. The ride's moving along well and lots of people are able to get on board. So hopefully one of these days, the queues will die down and it won't be a six something wake up because I can't make that happen every day. So, uh, you know, but uh, nice to be able to see Michelle ride it for the first time, hear her reaction, that kind of thing, and just kind of spend some time in this area while we're waiting. I'm thinking maybe I'll grab some water while we wait. So I heard they might be in there for as much as an hour. I'm not really sure. It sounds like they don't track their time. So I'm thinking I'm gonna grab some water now from Starbucks and take the time, just kind of relax and see what else is going on. But I definitely need to hydrate. We didn't do that on our way in. So I'm gonna grab some now. I got to the very beginning of a pre-show here at the Muppets. It's super cool to see this pre-show. Really glad I'm getting the chance to catch all this fun stuff here. They're setting up a stage sign and checking out all the screens, make sure they were working. Now a fish show here. Again, I haven't seen all this stuff before, before the show actually starts, so cool to see all the different scenes. They're all super funny while we're waiting to see the Muppet show. While I'm waiting for Mike and Michelle on Rise. What did you think? That was, that was great. Like, that was, like, that was great. <laughs> was it worth it? Was it worth getting up? Yeah. At 6.30, I didn't think so. But yeah, now I think so. Nice. Would you do it again? Is it worth getting up multiple days to do again? I might do it tomorrow. Whoa, okay. That good, huh? So do you like it better than the Harry Potter rides? I don't know if I'd say that. Okay. Because Harry Potter kind of touched me in a different 
different way, like like my childhood. It, I was reconnected with my childhood. And this was different. This was just incredible. Like this was like a spectacular that you would come like travel from across the country to see. Whereas Harry Potter was more more closer to home. Got it. Makes sense. I'm really glad to hear you enjoyed it. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Now approaching the gondola station here, making our way onto the gondola so we can head over to Epcot. Check out a little bit of that Festival of the Arts for myself here and make the return of Mike and Shell to the Festival of the Arts. I heard it was awesome, so definitely looking forward to stepping on over there and seeing what it's all about. And now here at the France Pavilion, we just walked in pretty much, and we are going to be getting this brie here, sounds like. I think they're going to be trying that brie. I'm not sure if I'm going to have any of that because I'm not a huge brie guy, but, you know, we'll see what they think. Maybe I'll try it, who knows? And I'm sure there'll be so much deliciousness here today as well. Here we have, from the Festival of the Arts, the macarons there. And you've got the brie in a bread bowl type thing as well. Both looking at super gouda. But it's actually brie, so, so not gouda, but more like, like brie. There's a spoon just jumping around in the world too. Wonder where that's coming from. <laughs> just finished off both of these dishes here. I think Mike and Michelle might have liked the brie more than I did. I didn't love it. The cheese wasn't my favorite in there. I feel like it was maybe okay. I think we've all probably had better brie before. And the macaroons were okay as well. Again, I don't, I don't think either of these items are necessarily my favorite. Don't love them, probably would not get them again. They weren't bad, but yeah, definitely not my go-to items in terms of food I've had at Disney. Michelle, your thoughts on the food items so far today? I like the brie. But yeah, after you mention it, the cheese kind of tastes like easy cheese. Um, not really, I like a nice pungent cheese. I like nice old ripe cheese, a fan of camembert. Um, so it wasn't, wasn't amazing, but the texture was nice. Um, the three macaroons, they were fine. Uh, the lime was the best for flavor. The strawberry was the best for texture. It was nice and crunchy on the outside. And the chocolate was straight up trash. So. <laughs> Yeah. All right. That's my analysis. When you say easy cheese, how easy are we talking here? How easy? Well, I mean, you can buy it from the store for like two bucks, so it's pretty easy. Gotcha. So would you get either of these items again? Um, I'd skip them. I'd okay. go on to something else. I had a drink over there that looked nice. A mango liquor smoothie, so that looked cool. Sounds good. Currently at Goshiki. Looks like Goshiki. Looking at that sushi donut. I'm excited to try some of that one. You know me, big sushi fan. Let's do it. And here we have the sushi donut. Super excited for this one. Looks fantastic. Again, another wild chopstick in there <laughs> floating around, doing its thing. A couple sauces on the side there, a little bit of sesame, little different types of fishies, a little cucumber on there. It looks fantastic to me. Michelle, how does this one look to you? Uh, great. <laughs> She's already snagging. That's a missing piece. By the time I go back to the camera, Already missing piece. <laughs> sushi donut, like the bro nut. Everybody's grown up, cause they like the sushi donut. Michelle likes the sushi donut so much that she's doing all her dance and she's doing all her stuff. Michelle, what you think of the sushi donut today? Hey, I thought it was pretty okay. But seriously, what'd you think? I thought it was great. Okay. <laughs> And I thought the sushi donut was fantastic as well. I feel like a really, really fantastic sushi, especially for what I was expecting here in the parks. I know some of these, not necessarily the best food. I feel like you can find around some of the parks. It's kind of just like quick samples of different foods. But this one's really, really amazing. Definitely one I would get again. Lots of cool artwork at all of these different pavilions here. And Michelle was talking to us about some of the different types of architecture. Michelle, how can you tell what type of architecture this is? That is a gothic arch because it is pointed on the top. Oh, oh, good to know. Definitely cool though to see all of these different details. Michelle's noticing some details as well as all these different kiosks with art and we saw some sculptures up there. So much to see in addition to that food. But you know we love food so we got to keep doing the food here. Some more artwork as we're walking by here. Look at that. You got some nice ones from Lion King. Little animated Lilo and Stitch back there. All kinds of cool ones here. Wonderground Gallery here by the Refreshment Outpost. I like it. Here are Michelle's paintbrush. Churro looks good. You got some, oops, some faces in there. You got some red, you got some purples, blue. Is that a pinkish in the back? Something like that back there. Yeah, all right. Michelle's already eating them all. But I they're didn't get all the primary good. colors. Oh, the rainbow's missing. No. 
So paintbrush churros for me are a skippable item. I feel like they weren't necessarily as fresh as some of the other churros we've had. Love those ones on Main Street. You can get some fresh churros on Main Street. And I feel like that sauce on the top, that paintbrush, like white chocolate sauce, wasn't as delicious or flavorful as I was expecting either. So I'd say paintbrush churros, probably a skip for me. There's a couple other items definitely prefer but we'll keep trying different items here sushi donut for me easily the clear winner so far but so much more to try as well awesome to check out some of the festival of arts here today but we got to make our way to catch our fast passes as well at hollywood studios rock and roller coaster coming up here we got that for later tonight we're gonna make our way that way but definitely like all the designs here merchandise swag paint and more with figment always like figment now at the caribbean beach getting a little bit later here a little bit slower there on the gondola than expected it sounds like our plans might be changing here might be calling it an early night we'll have to see how things play out as we catch that next gondola so here we go so we are calling it an early night here it was a fun adventure but we're looking forward to sharing more tomorrow as well oh Thanks so much for being a part of the fun with us today. And what was your favorite part of the adventure? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Let us know you liked it. And if you haven't already, for more fun adventures, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed. And until next time, play on. And we'll I see you real soon. Day. And that too. <laughs>